So I'm very excited to be here. Uh, what I want to talk about is a little bit about, well, technology for sure, but also a story. Uh, let me get started. Yeah? So these are the things which I do. I'm a med tech startup guy. Very simple guy who likes technology, who happens to have a preliminary understanding of business. But I'm going to talk to you about, of course, the technology, how we can test for anemia and potentially other diseases by testing blood without needles, without pricks, non-invasive, portable. That's the technology story. But let me actually start with the story, my story. I live in Thane. I visited a place called Parol, two hours north of uh, Thane. Uh, now, this is where my doctor friend was practicing. Uh, this place called Parol is a pretty rural, rural part. You might have seen places very similar to this. Uh, and he was delivering a baby over there. Now, I, w I was waiting outside, uh, and, but when he came, he was ashen-faced. He told me that there had been a postpartum hemorrhage. I didn't know what this meant. I'm, a, I'm an engineer. Uh, I, uh, he told me it was severe bleeding, and the woman who was the pregnant woman had died. And this was because of anemia. Now, the child, the mother, both had died, and it, it, it struck me as odd that anemia should kill. In my head, I'm not even a medical guy, but I knew anemia was preventable. I knew the cure was known. You take iron tablets over a period of time, and you get cured. Why are people dying of this? And two hours north of Mumbai. Uh, and we found out that there's a real acute need for point-of-care technology to test anemia. Now, technology, that's the word I heard in that. Right? I'm not a doctor, but I love to build stuff. So we got together. But I'll get to that part of the story for, uh, later, right? Uh, we, knew, we discovered a little bit more. Now, Abhishek had an ex my friend Abhishek and Yogesh who were practicing there. They knew this problem, and this is like, a huge problem. One million people every year globally die of anemia. So by the time I step off this stage, for every minute I'm on this stage, one woman and one, di one, ch uh, one child somewhere in the world is dying of anemia. This is a huge statistic, shocking statistics for a disease which is completely preventable, completely treatable. So, we, we knew, we knew what to do. We knew we had to build a technology. Uh, that was a big step for me, to have that clarity. And we knew we had to build something which was non-invasive, which didn't require needles, which re didn't require complicated kind of infrastructure. We knew it had to be point of care. It had to go to Parole. It, it could not afford to sit in a pathology lab in Mumbai, or San Francisco, or Boston for that matter. It had to go to Parole. Um, and it had to be simple. It had to be used by non-medical personnel, by that ASHA worker right there. You can see her in white. That's the ASHA worker. She's not a doctor. She's a nurse. She's a midwife. So we knew what to do. Now I'm going to pause here. What I don't want this to turn into is a story about the technology. What I've learned a little bit, I'll try to pass on. I've not learned a lot, but whatever I have, I'll try to pass on. So this is lesson number one. Get on your bike. I see a lot of people with ideas, right? I have nothing against ideas. But I have a very deep disrespect for ideas which get, you know, which come pop into your head while you are in your lab or at home or in an armchair or, you know, thinking about stuff. It's good to have the idea. But get on your bike. Go feel the pain. Go experience the problem. You have to, have to, I cannot stress this enough, you have to really feel, touch, internalize the problem. Until then, uh, that idea is not truly a candidate for being a solution. That's lesson number one. And I was lucky enough, thanks to my friends Abhishek and Yogesh, to get an inside knowledge of how this problem exists. Right? So anyway, so now that we had the problem defined, we built it. Uh, we built this machine, which I'll show how it works in a while. In fact, uh, why don't I just tell you quickly how it works. So it's a machine which uh, is portable. As you can see, it works on batteries. and. Uh, I, as the pregnant woman, for 30 seconds, this will stay on my finger, and using a principle which is called photoplethysmography. Uh, this is basically a smart way to say light, wavelengths of light. Inside this, there are three probes, uh, three LEDs uh, at different frequencies, 
uh, of different wavelengths and uh, they emit light and we capture that whatever absorbed uh, uh, light is remaining and uh, through a bunch of smart equations uh, figure out what is the constituents of blood. In this case, the first thing we have managed to figure out is hemoglobin and oxygen. So anyway, I'll to come to that little bit uh, in detail later. But when I say I built it, it took, took us three years. Now, we started in 2008, we had a prototype. Basically, to cut a long story short, we figured out every possible way how not to build this thing. So <laughs> you can see the long list of failures on the map behind me. You have, uh, in 2008, a device, we, we went with it, we tried it in the field, we tried it in the hospital, it was okay but not really working well, um, and uh, we had a lot of problems, and that's a whole, whole you know, story on, on our failures. That comes me, brings me very neatly to my lesson number two. I wish, I wish, I wish we had failed earlier. We get an, an entrepreneurs or you know anybody for that matter get too soon in love with their own idea. We love our ideas, right? I, it, it gives us a real high. I'm so creative. I have invented this thing, and this is a fantastic idea. It's going to change the world. But this is I cannot stress this enough. If you really want to make your idea into something real, try to make it a failure. It seems contradictory. Throw it into the field. Find out a way by which you can show how it fails. And if you cannot show how it fails, then you have succeeded. Well, take that idea, even if it's a half-baked idea, show it to a real user. That user will kick you out of the door, saying this is useless, awesome. You have figured out number one way to fail. Number two way, you go and you know change a little bit of the product, do it again, do it again, do it again, but fail early. On day one, you have the idea, go and talk to people. Build something, talk to people again, talk to your users. I mean, I cannot, again, stress this enough. That's why I've written like three times, fail, fail, fail. The more you fail, the, the better chance you have of succeeding. And we were, I'll admit, that's our mistake, we were stubborn. We said, this is a fantastic idea. We'll stay in our little lab in Thane and build a perfect device. Professor Das here is one of our advisors, and he wanted us to go out much earlier than we did into the field. And that was awesome advice. But we had to uh, make our own mistakes to figure that out uh, by our own. So, well, that's, that's about that. Uh, I'll tell you what we want to do now. This is the map of the world as soon as seen through the public health eyes of an agency like WHO and looking specifically at anemia. You will find that our country, Mera Bharat Mahan Lesh, you can see, obviously, right? What, how it fares. You can see. So, uh, this is a map of anemia, and Africa, India, large parts of Southeast Asia are the big, big problem areas. We want to make this into this. This is the map of the world as we want it to appear in 2020, where anemia doesn't kill. Yeah? Um, so, I'll tell you a little, uh, well, before I come to this, let me talk to you about the third lesson I learned. Uh, and it's to do with uh, my team. Uh, the lesson is that build the team, very simple. Uh, build the team, trust the team, have fun, right? Uh, we, you, can't, you can't go solo. It's gonna be a long haul, you're gonna make mistakes, and we made tons of mistakes. You have to have fun while you make the mistakes. I'll, tell you, I'll explain to you one of the mistakes we made. It's a uh, uh, funny story. So, uh, before that, let me give you a quick overview of the team itself. There's me. I call myself the CEO, but that just means that uh, uh, I draw the boxes on the chart you see before, below, uh, <laughs> behind me. Uh, there's Abhishek and Yogesh, who are the two doctors. Uh, Darshan, who is a, a biodesign fellow, AIM, Stanford, uh, India, so he's a, a smart guy on medical devices. There's Aman, who is a product designer and uh, a student of Professor Das. Uh, so we were all friends before, and. Uh, surprisingly enough, after three years, after so many quarrels and debates and arguments, we still remain friends. So, uh, our team is important. It's, it's the most important thing for an entrepreneur. It might sound a cliche, but that's all I have. That is the most important thing, not the idea. And I'll tell you the story. We had a plan, right? It was, it was the most pathetic business plan you could imagine. In 2008, we knew nothing about anything. We made a plan which looked like this. It's a hockey stick. Investors love hockey sticks, right? So, we had four hockey sticks. Uh, except that it was in Excel, not on a PowerPoint. And we said that, you know, we'll have this growth rate, that growth rate, and a graph will go upwards, and so forth. 
uh, and we went to our first investor meeting back in 2008, it flopped, yeah? It flopped. The whole team, all of us, were outside. We, we, we came out, we were kicked out, basically. That you, your product is useless, you can't build it, there's no market for it, it's wow, blue, blue, okay. And we were very dejected. We, we came out and there's a like, small hut outside, we were uh, having tea, we were very, very de dejected, you know. And uh, at that particular moment, it so happened that the uh, tea, tea guy, he switched on his radio. And you know what song played? Kali hath aayenge, aaye the hum, kali hath jayenge, which means we came empty-handed, we'll go empty-handed. And suddenly, in that moment, all all of us together, we just started laughing, <laughs> right? <laughs> well, that's it. Suddenly struck what what Nitya was saying. Don't take yourself too seriously, right? Uh, this is going to happen. So it happened. So we 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 went back to the next day, back to our office in Thane, worked some more, uh, got funding from other investor got the product made, uh, and I'm sure, uh, you know, this, this, this team is basically uh, all we have, basically. The product will come and go. We'll have new technologies. But I, again, this lesson number three is, again, I cannot stress enough. Cliche, I don't care. It is the most important principle. Uh, yeah, so what we want to do, you've seen, and you might see me in one, one year's time uh, having committed a series more of mistakes. Uh, hopefully, I've, I'll have learned from them uh, at that time as well. Uh, but meanwhile, I'll tell you uh, right, uh, a little bit about how this works. So uh, you put your finger in it, and at the end, what you get is something like this. So right now, this is a test bed. It, we have not completely productized this. We are figuring out how to make this into a really small, it will be the size of basically this remote. The version you see here uh, is is more complicated than it should be. We are simplifying it, making it cheaper, making it more accurate, and this will happen in May. You will see a product out in May. Uh, and this is what you'll see. You'll get hemoglobin, oxygen saturation, and heart rate. And the wave of how your heart is doing, how your respiration is doing, and a bunch of stuff. It's, it's really the beginning. The, the session is aptly uh, called beginnings because we, I, I, I'm very, very, very excited about what is going to happen with healthcare. And countries like India, uh, the, the constraints under which public healthcare operates here is going to be a boon for entrepreneurs like us, where we come up with necessity comes comes up with these kind of solutions, where now hemoglobin we can do bilirubin tomorrow or something else. You know there are five or six different things which we can do, and uh, we hope that uh, this beginning, you, you what you have seen here, is a beginning of uh, more things to come. Thank you so much for being a good, great audience.